welcome to another Brooklyn Deep Cut Junction Railway video. Last time uh, on my previous video I built some plaster of Paris embankments as you can see here. Um, they were just plaster of Paris with green paint which didn't look too good. So what I've done is put some grass on and that's what I'm finishing off now. The white bits you can see here are PVA glue and what I do is get some of the grass which comes from Woodland Scenics and just paint it on. It's um, a bit crude but reasonably effective. Perhaps I should put a, have put a little bit more on but it seems to do the trick. Difficult to hold the camera with one hand and paint with the other but I'm getting there. I think in the end I actually sprayed someone with my fingers because this was rather slow. But here's the finished product as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. Better than bare wood, that's for sure. And here I've put in um, a few more trees and things also to pad this out. And it looks reasonable. Still a few more trees to go in here which you'll see um, I'll put in later in the video. The next part of the project is to build a, a station for this little branch line here. It's designed for just this single um, diesel unit and it'll go in that section there and I'm using the Metcalf ready cut card kits and here we have Wayside Station Shelter. I quite like the Metcalf uh, kits fairly easy to assemble and the end product is quite good. So here I am underway. Um, I use the bulldog clips to hold things while the glue dries. Here we are, the station and building is part built. I must say the instructions are very clear and it really is very straightforward and quite rewarding building these, these kits. The station is pretty well finished now, no platform obviously, that comes later, but the end result is quite good and I was quite pleased with it. So this is where it goes. As you can see there is a slight problem. By having that there, all you see is the back of the station, you don't see any of the detail and if I was to put people on the platform, again, you wouldn't be able to see anything. So what I've decided to do is move this track and have it curving across the open gap and have the station building facing the other way, like this. Now I think that looks much better and much more interesting. So here we are, I've taken up the old track. The ballast is still there, but I can scrape that off. And the little wires that you can see sticking out are the feeds from the DCC bus, which feeds the power to all the tracks. Right, I've laid the track now, and here is the loco just checking that the track is live and all the connections are made. Seems to be okay. Right, now I've got to build the platform Again, lots of bulldog clips. This again is the remains of a Metcalf kit um, but cut out to my own shape. And there it is inserted in location. Seems to fit quite well. Could have a gap at the back, but I'll fill that in. I'm quite pleased with that. That seems to do the trick. So here we are. We've now got all the trees in place. I've filled in the gap there with some line side bits and pieces, put some little shrubs in and some more grass and I've put the ballasting in the track which all looks reasonably okay and behind the building I've put fences, a tree and as you can see there was a house in the corner there. So here we are, it's pretty well finished now. I've um, 
now completed three quarters of the layout, the bit in the bookcase, the bit across the bridge where it connects um, where the door opens, and now this section. The main part to be completed now is the area on the baseboard. So now that's it, so here's just a little bit of trains running just to entertain you and uh, I hopefully we'll be producing another video in the not too distant future showing a little bit of DCC programming. Okay, enjoy the rest of the video. Talk to you soon. Bye.